and we're back with the ballot 2023 uh looking at all of that report right there we're going to be connecting with you know uh some of our uh reporters on the field this morning but just before then we get back to our guests in the studio uh we're still talking about you know the issue of security uh we're talking about the innovation now one of the things that a lot of security persons technology? i mean technology. they work hand in hand you know uh however you want to look at it. But we're looking at the fact that INEC has been very, very positive about this one, even though a lot of persons still express doubt and do not you know, um, believe in the entire system for whatever reason. But one of the highlights and the high points of this election is the introduction of these technologies, uh, the technology which um, you know, my colleague here has mentioned. That's the beavers. And so we talked about it. But I want us to cast our minds back you know, to every other time that we had introduced technology, a bit of it, to our electoral process. Now, uh, if you remember vividly, in 2007, we had introduced, you know, that technology, uh, the INEC introduced a technology, direct data capture method for uh, voter registration for the elections that held in that time. Now, the essence of this DDC was that it was going to eliminate double registration, double voting, and other electoral practices. That's on the one hand. We also know uh, what happened, but you know at the end of that, let me, so let's come to the, the elections. That 20, 2007 polls was widely criticized and pronounced as fraudulent by local and international observers. There were shortcomings. That was not the case. The essence of that technology was defeated. So again, people are still asking several questions. As much as that sounds very fantastic, we look at it, uh, very logical explanation and what have you, we still ask again, don't you think that there's any you know, um, situation that these can and might fail? Making also reference to the Oshun state elections with the overvoting, how did that happen? Underage voters, can you know, the beavers also you know, cop that? Michael Jackson, MC Arma used to vote in Nigeria. Do you know that? I'm Michael, listening to you. Michael Jackson, MC Arma, uh, Bobby Moore, they used to vote in Nigeria in Undo State. From the moment the permanent voter's card and the card reader was introduced, in a country where a president in 2003, Olusegun Obasanjo, had more votes supposedly cast in Ogun State, more than the total number of registered voters in Ogun State. When we got to the Supreme Court, the justices, nine justices of the Supreme Court, all agreed that that was a major aberration. But they said the, the number of the votes cast when removed from the total number of the valid votes would not vitiate the distance, but that was in itself a travesty. It was the introduction of technology, permanent voters' cards and card readers, that for the first time in the political history of Nigeria, unlike what I told you happened to me in 1983, you never ever again, after PVC and card readers were introduced, you never ever again have any polling unit registering 100% voters turnout. You see how good technology can be? It will not take you to Nevada or El Dorado in one round, but it will move you from perdition, what ostensible perdition, in the direction of progress. I am not sitting here conceited enough to want to believe that beavers will be, beavers will be the ultimate solution to the perversion in our electoral system. However, the use of technology will always move us in the right direction because even in the issue, Madam, that you, earlier, that you referred to, had earlier referred to the fact that the Osho case became easy for the complainants to prove because inevitably in digitalia, anything where you employ digital technology, you will always get what they call the digital footprint. My sister, 
if we were to be reduced to using papers alone, you know why some of us campaigned vehemently for the exclusive use, exclusive being the strategic word here, for the exclusive use of technology was because even with the ostensible improvements that we saw, or that we got when PVC, permanent voters card and card leaders were introduced, the electoral act gave the option that in case those things failed, they could resort to paperwork. And you know what usually happens to paperwork? <laughs> the political magic comes out. So at this juncture, madam, I want to agree with you. As a man who should be sober enough to know that there is no permanent solution to the mischief of man on the face of the earth. <laughs> It's just that... Nigeria inclusive. Uh, on, on face of the... <laughs> no, I, I want us to be very How, However, <laughs> let me give you a typical example. A very close business partner of mine and a friend of mine uh, had his... He couldn't find his pad. You know, he couldn't find it. And, I, and he was telling me, brother, I, I was wondering whether I took it home like, uh, yesterday. Or, and I said, Kenny, why are you behaving like this? Look at the CCTV cameras in, in our office. And you know what? You know what? When he called one, one of our junior managers in the office and they examined the CCTV cameras, he noticed that his driver picked, when, the drive, when his driver was picking his, uh, his uh, this thing, the driver also picked the, picked the, um, the, the pad. And you know what? The driver denied that ah it was not emo, it was not emo. Less than one less than uh, one month after, another item was found in his hand that was not given to him. Another item was actually found by somebody close to him being sold and recognized that this was theirs. And when they challenged the person, he said the driver gave it to him. That was why he lost his job. The good thing about technology is that it at least gives you an evidential proof for something that somebody could have lied easily about. And that, that is the perfect example of Oshun. Oshun may have shown the lacuna or lacune in the use of these so-called beavers. But it was ultimately the recordings, the digital recordings of beavers that gave the complainant the opportunity to prove that something inconsistent with normalcy happened in some polling booths. Yeah, let, let's not sound pessimistic, but you know, there's just this report on uh, that has been making the rounds that a particular presidential candidate and his uh, deputy made some comments. And now the argument is that where they're doctored, technology also can be doctored in such a way that the results that you desire may not come out as you want it because someone has touched it. Like you said, there's no nothing that you can do to stop the the mischievousness of mankind. As somebody as somebody who is an avid follower of technology, who reads copiously on technology, the good thing about what the, the valid point you've just made now is that there is a part of technology that is called forensic technology. Mm. Doctored doctored evidences and materials can be examined by experts. I tell my friends, so I was joking with a friend one day and I said, you know, be very careful. Somebody could send you, somebody could send you a picture of your wife being naked and doing something untoward with another man. Be very careful. Technology has given that this thing now. However, technology will also help to resolve the mischief of those who may want to employ technology for for some for a dubious purpose because there is that forensic element to it technology is not god it's only god that is omniscient however given the fact that and this is what when we were arguing for the intensification of the use of technology being countenanced by the electoral electoral law we kept giving the examples to, to those who cared to listen, especially legislators. If you could sit in the Green Chamber or the Red Chamber of the National Assembly, 
and remember that, oh, madam asked me for some change before I left home this morning, and you pick your phone, and your sweat, do you know that your sweat, your life, your blood is actually denominated in your bank savings? So, if you could add the faith in technology to say, okay, uh, she asked me for this and then I transfer money, we put it down, and we are following the thing again. That's the power of technology. I tell people the most credible database in Nigeria today is the BVN, B BVN database. Mm -hmm. You know why? Mm -hmm. Because the banks will not let, let you have two fingerprints recorded against your name. My brother, we know that in other spheres of life, databases may be compromised due to our passports, as somebody, as somebody who is well-traveled, our passports in the last 10 years have been more respected internationally because we, because we were gradually and fastly going biometric. They know that it used to be, before I left Mushi to go to, to end up in the diaspora about something years ago, I, I must have collected passports up to seven or eight times because of the rejection of okay. American embassy, United Kingdom embassy. Before somebody ultimately helped me, got uh, a German visa. <laughs> okay, like, yeah, we want to connect with um, an INEC observer, uh, and his name is Gidado Yolde. If he's ready now, let's uh, get to know what is going on, uh, going on right now. Gidado, good morning. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel, and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.